Hey guys, Zogi Sanchez here and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are doing a fantastic day and I want to show you how and where to get all the legendary schematics so you can actually go ahead and craft yourself all the legendary weapons and most importantly the legendary armor as the stats on these things are very nice. You can see their defense 400 HP 1200 on this and the durability 11,000 and then the earlier ones like this is the this is the best non-legendary armor you can get and this is at 220 defense and 750 hp and this is the best legendary it's like pretty much double that's just a little bit under double that and the durability is more than doubled very good as well as the damage comparison i have the rocket launcher here the legendary is 14,000 damage insane and the normal one is 10,000 so 4,000 damage so that's 40 percent stronger and the durability is again more than doubled very very good and i don't have the normal crossbow but you guys can see this is very good stuff very strong and i'm going to show you which and where and what all the bosses are to actually get this now i did see this earlier today from another little youtuber i can't remember his name but i will leave his video linked down below so shout out to him go check out his video and give him some love over there but i found this pretty much through there because the chance of these to drop is very very little i've been doing this all day and as you can see these are the only ones i've managed to get now there is for every single weapon so there's the handgun let me just show you guys the little text document i have with all of it saved up here so you got to kill alpha pals to get the legendary schematics so bushi gives you the crossbow i actually got him on the first try super lucky on the bushi and then the beacon over there gives you the handgun blazemut gives you the assault rifle jet dragon missile launcher Suzaku so gives you the pump action shotgun. Palladius and Necromus give you the cold and the heat pale armor. So obviously they give you their respective versions. And then Frost Talon gives you the pale helmet. And King Packer gives you the old bow if you're after all those. But the best thing I could really get is the missile launcher. And I've farmed Jet Dragon a lot because I'm trying to get like the ultimate Jet Dragon to, to start my breeding with. So that's probably why I ended up getting the missile launcher. But the others I've done them a couple of times and it's very very low drop chance. Frost, Frost Talon as well. Trying to get a perfect uh, one to breed with her. So we got the pale helmet and we got the missile launcher. And we got these over there. And the bushy crossbow, like I said, got really lucky. I just ran there quick to go see if it actually worked. And bam, we got it. But the other guy in his video was using a cheat engine for 100% drop ch chance on everything. And 100% catch chance and all that kind of stuff. And he confirmed that all of these do drop from every single one of these. So that is the list. If you're looking for specific ones, basically you just go kill the alpha pals and you farm them a lot. And those are their respective drops. But let me show you guys a little bit in the map over there. So Bushi, you guys should pretty much know where everybody is for the most part. We see Frost Talon is up in the top left of the Frost Ice map over there. Bushi is somewhere down here, I believe. Bushi, 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 where's Bushi? There's Bushi right over there. So there's a starting point for you guys. So there's the starting point. This is where you start Plateau Beginnings. Bushi is pretty early on. So if you want, you should actually go farm him early. He's level 23 and he has the crossbow, which is very, very powerful until you get much later into the game. And then Beacon with the handgun. I actually have no idea where Beacon is. I totally forgot. But that leads me to a new video that I'm going to make. Let me give you guys a little sneak peek at it. This is the Pal World. I found this online. The Pal World Pal List, PalWorldTrainer.com. And they have the Pals and everything. They're like updating this as they go along. They've got all the powers and if you click them they show you their map location their drop chances breed info pretty much everything you need to know there's even a breed calculator which i've used myself this is why i found it because i was looking up how to do breeding and everything and i will be doing a video pretty soon showcasing all of this stuff but pretty much i'll leave this link down below for you guys as well so you're looking for the boss who was it we were looking for let's have a look if we can find it real quick so we are looking for beacon all right so let's look for beacon beacons obviously going down in list beacon am i oh there it is beacon map link and he's found in the top area over there okay oh where's his boss there's his boss over there so there's the boss over there it's on the middle green island let's have a look middle green island and then is that him right there ah it's because i have a mining thing yeah there he is right there beacon i have like a mine spot marked on the map so there he is right there and if you guys know jet dragon on the side there and polydius and them up top and pretty much all the alpha pals and i believe from uh, dungeons as well let me show you guys another one this one of yeah the heat resistant refined metal armor this is not the pal armor this is what i was using right now until today until i actually got my finally upgraded my resistance pal armor i was using this and i found this from a random dungeon i was i can't remember which dungeon i ran but i got this from a dungeon 
So another way to get these also dungeons as well as these accessories and stuff, you can get them from running dungeons too. So go ahead and run any dungeon you come across. They all give you schematics and they give you these as well. So it's a little small chance to get them. But if you do get them, it's much better stats. As you can see, this is the metal armor. So it's the version before the pal metal armor. And it's still higher stats than the pal metal armor. This is the next tier up and this one is still better for me. So that's why I was using this one for the longest time. But now I've actually finally upgraded to the cold resist pal arm. And then I have the fire heat one as well. So you can just switch out and change depending on the zone. They are a little bit expensive to craft. But if you guys have been following my channel, I showed you recently how to set up a quartz base like this one and the iron ore base as well. I will have a sulfite base coming up soon and it'll pretty much have all the bases covered. But that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like and a sub to the channel. It helps me out so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hoggy saying out. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the